Hey families, the Mobile Home Diva. And in today's video, we're going to be touring the Scott Built Home. Sorry I can't get a good view, but there is a long fall if I try to go any farther. This is Scott Built Home. It's the legend, and I've heard good things about it. So let's go take a look, shall we? pretty all right family that's the door that we just came through you got all of that living room space over there ceiling fan in the living room vents in the ceiling really nice really really nice see the vents in the ceiling so you don't have vents in the floor in this one you got vents in the ceiling plus already Got two big windows over there. Your front door is there. So sorry for that smoke detector. All right, overlooks the kitchen and dining room. Look at all the space in the dining room, you guys. Love it, you got a chandelier there. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. There's your kitchen. I love that the island is turned sideways. I'll show you why in a minute. You've got pendant lighting over the island, space for two bar stools. If you get the smaller ones, you could probably do three. Love the black appliances and the black sink. Really nice. Cute little window over the sink. Comes with a double refrigerator or side-by-side -side refrigerator. Really nice. White cabinets in here. Love the flooring. Super, super, super cute. This home is so cute. It is so stinking cute. Love it. So if you're entertaining in the living room or the dining room, you can face your company while you're cooking. Love the size of the island. Really nice. Really nice. Your utility room is out this way by the back door, you've got an upper cabinet and you've got a place to hang clothes as well as storage space over the washer and dryer. You've also got this little cubby hole over here, pantry space right there, I love it. Good use of space, it doesn't have a separate pantry but we have a pantry over here in this space. You can actually put additional shelving over there if you want. Um, got this little cubby over here that you can use for storage. Might put some shelves in a uh, shelf that way, coming down the wall. Put shelving that way so you have even more pantry space. Very good. You've got a plug there if you want to stick a little deep freezer like mine right there. You, you can do it. Really nice. Really nice. Now, what I like about this island is you're sitting here at this island, right? You've got company in the living room. You've got company here in the dining room. And then you've got company over here in this bonus room. So this could be like a family room, a man cave, uh, whatever you want it to be. You've got a ceiling fan over there, two big windows, no carpet over here. So you got carpet in the dining room, but no carpet over here in this family room. Really nice. And this is a big space, you guys. This is a nice space for a family room. Really nice. Really nice, great for entertaining. This big area is so great for entertaining. Love the little uh, space you have here for decor or additional space to put food when you're entertaining. Maybe appetizers or hors d'oeuvres or even a part of the meal could go up here. Really nice. So now down this hall you have all of the bedrooms and bathrooms. We'll start down here and work our way up. This first room has no carpet. It has a closet, so I wouldn't call it an office, but you could absolutely use 
it as an office. But anytime there's a closet attached, it's a bedroom. So you got a closet there. This personally would probably be my office. Depending on how many family members live here, this would probably be my office or my YouTube studio. Really nice. Nice space in here. Really nice. So that's bedroom number one. Bedroom number one. Straight down this hall, you have the guest bathroom. Got your uh, tub and shower combo there. Got a sink in here, a uh, window in here that opens. And there's your sink and toilet and mirror. Really nice. Oh, no carpet in this one. So you got guest bedroom number two. Okay, this would be the office. This would be an office or a man cave because there's no closet in here. So this will probably be either my office or my husband's man cave. Really cute space. Let me go over here and show you how big it is. So this is the, this is, and I think on the diagram it calls it a man cave. But this would either be his man cave or my office. Really nice. Okay. So you got a family room and you got a man cave. Cute. Now here you got guest bedroom number two. This one has a closet, so this is a guest bedroom. So you have a closet there for this bedroom. Let me back up so you can see the space. So that's the closet. And then there you have a Jack and Jill bathroom. So this bathroom has two sinks. And then your tub shower combo and toilet is there and it has a transom window cut the light off so it's not so bright so you got a transom window up there and it's your tub and shower and toilet okay okay and then this was the bedroom that we just took a look at Very nice. Now, on this side is the third guest bedroom. Had to count them. <laughs> same layout, same size. You got your closet right there, same size closet. And then this bedroom's entrance to that Jack and Jill bathroom. Okay? So let's count them again. This is a bedroom. And these two are bedrooms. So you got three bedrooms. You got the Jack and Jill bathroom and the guest bathroom. So this is a four bedroom, three bath with a family room and a man cave or slash office, whatever you like. Cause honestly, this could be his man cave set up out here or it could be like a like a movie area, family room, playroom, whatever you want it to be. Honestly, it could be a multi-purpose room. It could be whatever you want it to be. But there's a lot of space in this house, you guys. A lot of space. Really nice. Now let's go check out the master because now we got to see what the master looks like. All right, this, yeah, sorry about that. This is the master bedroom. So I'm going to come in and show you just how big. Let's see if I can get a... Okay. Master bedroom. Huge master bedroom. Probably should have did this from outside the bedroom. Look at that. Huge master bedroom. Look how much space you got in there. Really nice. Okay, so you got a large master bedroom. And then this is your master closet. You got double sinks. 
right there. Lots of cabinet and, and counter space. Got a drawer in the uh, double sinks. You got your toilet next to the sink and a huge, huge soaker tub. Look at all of that. Look at there. And that huge mirror. You don't even have, need a floor to ceiling mirror. I can see my whole body in that big old mirror. It covers that wall. Really nice. Really, really nice. And then across from the sinks you have double shower. It has seating in the shower. So you have a place to either put your feet when you're cleaning them or have a seat. And then over here is your master closet. Plenty of space for everybody. You got his and her sides that are divided by the storage space. Really nice. One, two, three, four cabinets in the storage space. And then all of this room over here. Bring your shelving that way. So just like this other side, you can maximize the space. Really nice. Really nice. Huge, huge tub. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Again, this is a legend by Fleetwood Homes. Uh, excuse me, Legend by Scott Built Homes. This uh, Flamingo Homes does not post prices. All of their information is down in the description box. Uh, so I'll have that available for you. I hope you enjoyed this mobile home tour. This huge home is absolutely beautiful. Thanks so much for watching.